As you guys probably noticed, this is not the Nick Fury that appears in the movie Captain Marvel. This is, of course, the Nick Fury that appeared in all of the Avengers movies. But if you guys want to draw the Captain Marvel younger version of Nick Fury, I'm sure you could add extra hair and like an extra eye and maybe get rid of the goatee or something. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Ram here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are going to finally be drawing Nick Fury from the MCU franchise, uh, first seen in the very first Iron Man movie. Real quick, on this channel I make a lot of step-by-step -step drawing tutorial videos of your favorite fictional characters, so if you guys like what you see make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video as well. It's crazy to think that Samuel L. Jackson has been playing Nick Fury for uh, 11 years at this point ever since the first Iron Man and if you think about it it's kind of cool that the three MCU movies that are coming out this year 2019 you got Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame and then you have Spider-Man Far From Home all feature Nick Fury so kind of cool that you see this character in three different movies in one year man Sam Jackson is just killing it all right, I'm sure you guys are ready to start. Before you begin though, make sure to read the description of this video. Down there, you'll find a list of my drawing tools, some tips to succeed in your drawing as you're following this tutorial, how to make tutorial suggestions if you have any, and best of all, a link to a free coloring page that is based on this tutorial. And having said all of that, grab your drawing tools. Let's get started drawing Nicholas J. Fury. Nick Fury, let's do it. I do share. I'm nice like that. All right, guys, let's get started with our Nick Fury tutorial. I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to be drawing him kind of just up to the thighs. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is divide my paper in half because for the most part, it's going to be symmetrical. I mean, there's some elements that are not, but uh, yeah, let's draw the head. And the head is going to be up here, of course. And I'm going to draw a circle kind of just right where you got the middle line going through it. Okay, so here's the head for Nick Fury. And then just bring down the sides of the face. So two lines there for the sides of the face. Jaw line like this. And then here's the jaw like that. Okay, so here's our head right there. Now you don't have to make the circle perfect, but what you do need to try to do is try to get this head shape as best as you can symmetrical in the center of your page okay um two necklines right there what we're going to do is we're going to have him kind of looking down and we're going to do that by having his shoulders kind of higher up as opposed to it being down here it's going to be a little bit higher up so here we have the shoulders just like that okay now this is going to be about about the size of the head so here's the head and here's the like another about the same width away. So that's kind of how I measure this one. And you wanna make sure that the shoulders are not too broad and not too straight up across either. And for the most part, I'm drawing this one slightly higher than this right here. Okay, so there's our, um, the, what do you call it? The part of, of his shoulder that's padded. Okay, and then the actual shoulder is kind of are about here so what we're going to do is we're going to draw his torso now i'm going to bring two lines going down going narrower as you go down like that okay let's draw the the, the chest area it's going to be right around here so that's the chest i'm drawing these lightly and loosely with my pencil okay and then bring it down and so this is about where i want the uh the waist to go and he's got like this belt thing or is it like the bottom of his like jacket piece? I'm not sure, but that's where we want that to go. Okay, so there's the torso. Take a step back and make sure that the head uh, is the same, like it's proportional to the torso. So yeah, you can pause this video if you guys need. And I'm just going to clean this up a little bit while you guys do that. Okay, there you go. So there's our torso. I had to make some slight adjustments just, you know, just to get it to the right proportions. And there you go. Okay, so he'll be wearing this huge overcoat that's gonna be covering uh, pretty much like everything. But uh, let's draw the inside first. And this is where 
we draw the legs, I guess. So I'm going to draw this underwear line like this. Okay, kind of just two triangles going down from from the sides. Bring it down. Here's the crotch area right there. Okay, and then here I've got one foot kind of going down. Nice little curve like this, and I'm going to cut it off right here, more or less. Okay, and then we've got this one kind of moving forward slightly. So this goes out, and then like this. Okay, so I'm going to make this one kind of behind, and this this leg overlaps. So it's on top, as you guys can see right here. So you got this leg. If I were to draw, like if I were to draw the musculature, it would look like this, and then this one would be further back. I can even make it thinner. Give me a second, and then it's going to be like this. So if you guys, if you guys see by the by the size of it, it, this is further back and this is further forward. Okay, so that's kind of how we want this to look. Now you don't want to make it too fat, like he's disproportional. But for the most part, those are our guidelines right there. It looks a little bit off. You know what? Let's uh, I'm gonna bring this a little bit more like this so that there's this clearer gap in between. But still, it's gonna be slightly thinner because it'll be further behind, further back. Okay, there's our Nick Fury. Now again, you want to make sure that the shoulder shoulders are going to be a little bit wider, so they go out this way. You want to make it. You want to make Sam Jackson kind of have a narrower waist. Now Sam Jackson isn't really. He doesn't have like the super heroic proportions like Captain America does. So he's not quite like super muscular. He's not quite uh, V shaped in the torso and the and the back here. So this is about about right. It still gives him some muscle some proportions but it's not to the extreme okay now before we draw the arms what i want to do is i want to draw the um the jacket okay and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to start from here i'm going to draw a line sort of going down parallel to the center about here just below that's about a good spot right there actually even up to that line is good okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it out to two about this far away from the thigh. So I'm just going to draw this straight line going down like this. Okay. And then same thing over here. I'm going to bring this down, but I'm going to end it right kind of right here. I'm going to have this go down about this far away, a little bit further away than this one here. Okay. So it's not too symmetrical. So round that off. Okay, and you notice how this this corner right here is hidden by the jacket, but this part is exposed. That's intentional, and that's kind of the guideline right there. So you wanna, you kind of wanna get that. There you go. So now we know. Here's the inside of the jacket. Here's the outside of the jacket. Okay, and then the jacket itself is gonna go down from here, the shoulder, and bring it down to right around here. So draw that line there, and then this one it sort of goes in, actually. So give me one second, and let me explain. Here's the where the arm comes out. So it sort of does this dip, and then it goes in like this, and this goes in. Okay. Just erase the sides now. Not quite done with it yet, because we've we still have to draw like more layers to the jacket. Okay, now from the right around here, this is going to be the collar. The collar goes out to there. Zoom in slightly. About here, and then it goes into this curve. And it sort of just comes out like that. Okay, just like that. So from the side of the head. This one sort of points outward, so right around here, about okay, parallel to this, to this spot. Okay, it's a little bit closer to the line than this one is, and then this goes into that curve right there. So now we've got the collar popped up, looking menacing. Okay, and then right here, 
I'm going to bring this down like this. And it sort of goes outward to about here. It's not quite straight because it is the jacket sort of billowing in the wind. Okay, so there, there it is. Okay, and then right here, it gets kind of narrow. So right around here, find a spot, bring this into, kind of into the, into the collar like this. Okay, it gets narrower here, then it gets wider, and then narrow again. So hey, there's our Nick Fury, um, there's the jacket. Now this whole thing is going to be black, I'm going to draw these lines to show that there's the jacket fabric right there, there's one there, one over here, I'm going to draw another line going up like this. So we know that that's the inside of the jacket. Okay, now let's zoom in and let's kind of draw where the arms are going to be. Now what I want to do is I want to have the fist kind of right around the crotch area a little bit. so. So that's kind of where I want the fist to be. Let me zoom in. Okay, so right around here, like this, line, line, line in like that. Okay, and then here's the thumb. And it goes up like this. So he, that's him clenched, hands clenched. Then make that slightly bigger just to make it proportional. So you want to make sure that it's the right sized hand for the body okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this into like the jacket so like that and then here's the elbow part let's add some details a little bit later so there's the elbow and then here's the what do you call it the wrist part of the jacket there so that's good now on the other side, we'll do some somewhere around the same thing, same line, but this one, the hand is gonna be covered by the jacket. So this one is just going to be, you know, that's all you see really of the hand. Now this one, he's got an open palm. Okay, and then bring this that way. And then here is where I want the elbow to be right around there okay, and then here's the wrist part of the jacket and for the most part here's our Nick Fury I'm gonna draw a line going down here because he does have that seam and then he's got like the um, what do you call it this part of the pants you know where you have the zipper there you go so zooming out that is our Nick Fury let's actually draw some buckles right here uh, sorry, two straps, one, two straps right here, and then he does have a gun holster. I'm going to draw a line like this. Curves this way. And then curves like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to draw like this rectangle that we're going to make into a gun a little bit later. There you go. So, was it too, too hard? It was a... There's a couple of elements that you kind of just have to get right before everything starts to make sense. But there's our initial Nick Fury drawing. So now let's go into it and let's get into the nitty gritty. Okay. So you can't... Now this one is very iconic and you kind of need to get this right. So you want to get that nice rounded head that Sam Jackson has. By the way, you want to, you might want to enlarge if you guys are feeling like the head is too small, if the head is too, too big, um, adjust the size of the head before you continue adding details to it. So here I am kind of just fixing it up, making those lines look a little neater. Now he's going to be looking down and the way that you want to make your character look down is you want to draw those facial features a little bit lower instead of up. Okay. So here's Kind of where I want the eyes to go, the eye, one eye, okay, and then a flat line for the nose, and then here's the mouth, 
line for the mouth. So it's going to look like that. Okay, and then another way to make it look like he's looking down is if you bring the ears up. So the ears are here and here. Because normally you would draw the ears aligned with the eyes. You know, like when you're wearing glasses, uh, the, the, the glasses go above your ears and into your eyes. So it's like a straight line, but this one he's looking down. Okay, there you go. So let me just draw that center line so we get an idea. So there's our center line. And now let's draw uh, a likeness of Nick Fury, kind of Sam Jackson-y. Um, and we'll start off by drawing the first eye, the only eye. Looking like that. So the top part is a little bit more flattened. And then the bottom part is more rounded. There you go. And then we want him looking straight ahead. So we want that eyelid or that eyeball to be looking to be at the top part and not touching the bottom part of the eye. Okay. Line underneath there. And then what you want to do is you want the brow to kind of touch like this corner of the eye here. Now, a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments that the eyes are the hardest thing. And I'll, I gotta be honest, it's also difficult for me, especially if you're doing something like this where you only really have one shot because you got the video rolling and you don't wanna mess it up. There you go. Some wrinkles. Okay, there you go. Now Sam Jackson has a bit of a wide nose, so we want to reflect that. Or this Nick Fury anyway, so two lines right there. And then this one is gonna be like this, okay? So if I were to draw it on the side, it's two lines like this for the nose. And then for the most part, what you want the nostrils to be is flat, flat, and then bring this center down. And that should be, should be enough. Okay, so there's Sam Jackson's nose right there. <laughs> Nick Fury's nose. Because again, remember, it's not about drawing a likeness of the actor or actress. We just want to, you know, we want to focus on getting the character instead. So that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, so for this one, the eye is going to be right here. And what you want to do is you want to cover that eye with the eye patch. So it would be good to kind of get an idea where you want that eye to go and then cover it nicely like this. Okay, so it almost looks like a sunglasses lens. Okay, so this goes diagonal. It also covers the eyebrow, so see where the eyebrow would be. Covers that as well. Goes down. This goes this way. And then it just rounds off. Okay, and then you can color that in. There you go. Let's draw these lines, because Samuel Jackson does have these lines. And then let's draw the mouth. So, a bit of a thicker lips, but you don't want to completely draw the lips. Draw the upper lip like this, that's fine. But the bottom lip, you see how it's not connected? That's intentional because if you, the, the thing is, if you connect the lips like that, if it's fuller lips like this, if you connect the lips, it starts to look like a, a female lips, like feminine lips. So you don't want that, okay. He looks too clean shaven here. Let me draw this bottom line. Bottom, uh, what do you call it? It's a, like a shadow. So it sort of goes out like that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring, readjust the chin. Just bring it a little bit lower. And then of course we're gonna draw the goatee. That way it'll age him up a little bit. Cause right now it looks like young Nick Fury. Which, I mean, if you guys want to draw the Nick Fury from the Captain Marvel movie, all you have to do is erase this, draw some hair, and the hair would be right around here. Like, if you guys want to draw young Nick Fury, draw the eye, of course, and not an eye patch, and leave the face like that. So here's bald Nick Fury, which I'm sure most people would probably prefer is uh, Nick Fury from the Avengers movie. Okay, eye patch goes down right here, goes below the eye, and then on this side, like this. 
okay? There's some scarring from the eye. It's gonna draw three at the top there and then three coming down as well. There you go. Some wrinkles. And then, yeah, let's draw the uh, mustache. So, there you go. It's starting to look more like the fear you were familiar with. So it goes above the, above the lips here, like this. And then it goes down. It goes, gets a little bit thick here and here. Okay, you got a sole patch underneath the lower lip. And then cover the bottom part, the chin. And there we have it. There's Nick Fury right there. Let's add some cheek bones. So from here, I'm just going to draw a line like this, a line like this. Okay, let's fill in the ears. Draw some lines on the eye here just to give him that uh, older look. Crow's feet, that's what they're called side of the head. I'm just going to draw these two dimples here for the temples. And that's it, you guys, for the head. Not for the whole picture. But uh, yeah, there you go. So now let's work on the inner part of his costume. Um, he does actually have, before I forget, he's got like this Bluetooth headphone thing and it kind of looks like an ear pod. So imagine just like a letter P like this. Okay, going from inside the ear, coming out to the side of the face, about this big. Just like that. So he's got that right there. Okay, there you go. Now let's draw the top part of his costume. He's got like this um, armored jacket, it looks like. So the top part's got lines like that. But it's a turtleneck, so he's got like this loop or this curve that goes around and it sort of acts like the, the neck piece, the collar. Okay, there you go. Some wrinkles there. I'm going to take this line, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw it three times, going down. Okay, right here. Just a little bit above this chest line here, kind of right here. I'm going to draw two lines going like this. Okay. From here now I'm going to draw two lines going down. Two lines going down over here as well. You want to make sure they're the same distance from the center. Okay. So now we've got this part. Um, this is a leather right here, but right here it looks like it's knitted. So I'm going to draw some stripes going down. If I were to ink this, I'm going to use a, a really fine nib to, to, to draw those uh, that pattern there. Okay, I'm going to draw a little zipper, um, what do you call it, handle at the top there. A little zipper handle there. And then right here, this is going to be that, that belt thing that I was talking about. So let me draw that in. Let me erase the inside. Okay, he's got like these one, two lines like this. And what I'm going to do with those is they, they kind of go upward. So bring them further out. It goes this way and then in. So this one makes like this C shape around the belt. And this one makes a reverse C on the side. Okay, and that's what that looks like right around here where you have this line. Draw a line there and there. And this goes higher up and lower down. There you go. And then just bring that into the side. And that's it. Okay, so 
Now let's see. We've got that part. Let's draw the lower legs now. And this is where it kind of gets tricky because remember we have his leg kind of one over the other and it's hard to make that out. But at the same time, he's got some baggy pants. Um, he doesn't wear tights like the others do. They're tactical black pants. Okay, let's uh, first of all erase our guidelines here. We don't want him looking like he's wearing his underwear on the outside because that's not what this Nick Fury is about. <laughs> okay, from here, I'm going to draw the pocket lines. going to draw two lines going to the side like this. And same thing over here. So there we go. Okay, let's draw this uh, line going down the center. And I would say bring it... Um, sorry bring it this way i think it makes more sense it's hard to make out actually in my reference photo because my reference photo is dark because it's all black okay so this goes to the center this goes like this so there's the what do you call it the zipper for the pants and the, i doubled this line right here and if i double this as well it looks like seams okay right here i'm going to draw wrinkles from the crotch going outward and I like to draw, I like to loop them. You guys have probably seen me do this many times with other tutorials. I just, I don't know, it's just the thing that I like to do when I, when I draw these wrinkle lines on pants. Okay, so just a bunch of um, wrinkle lines there from the crotch going outward. Now let's make this look a little bit more like pants and less like tights, okay? Right here, there's like a stitching or, or something that goes across here in the leg and then here as well, like across the thigh. Okay, and then here. So I'm purposely not making straight lines just to show that this is baggy. And right here where the knee is, you kind of want that to be baggy as well. Okay, right here, I'll even draw a fold that to avoid that baggy or to, to make it look like baggy pants and I can even go like that okay there you go and grab myself another pencil okay now right here there's gonna be a buckle and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the belt here where I kind of draw this C shape like that okay and then I do it again over here so it's like this letter C. Goes around. So right here you got the you got the buckle on that side. And then over here I'm gonna draw now a letter I, I guess you can say. Okay, here's the strap. Strap. Okay, the pants, they when they reach the strap it sort of creates like this fold outwards or it comes out because it's baggy and then the strap is tight so fabric sort of goes like this okay and just creating these folds so now it shouldn't look like baggy pants and you do the same thing on this side There's like this metal piece on the holster that goes across like this. The holster itself, I'm going to draw one, two, three lines going down like that. Okay. Double up on that line. And then you can draw the gun. You can sort of just draw the top of a gun here. Looks like that. The gun sort of goes into the side like that. And we're not going to add too much detail into it. So there you go. And then there's just a little hammer piece right there. So there's our gun. And uh, yeah, so that's looking good so far, guys. Zooming out, this is what our Nick Fury looks like. Hope you guys are still with me. There you go. So now let's work on the jacket. And we're going to start off with this part right here. Okay, so let's clean this up and let's work on 
the collar part and then the shoulder part. So let's just make nice clean lines now. So I'm erasing a whole bunch of my unwanted rough lines and then start working on the nice round lines. There you go. Okay, so we'll start off with that. Now let's start right here actually. A seam line from here goes in like that. And here you barely see it. it goes like this. Okay. Little button there. And then the button here as well. Okay, double up here. Just like that. Okay, and then here, same thing. Okay, there you go. Okay, here in the shoulder part, this line right here goes up and then sort of makes this fold. This goes into that. Okay, there's a line, two lines that go across like that. So that's like the shoulder padding. Make it three lines actually. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then right here you've got a line from here. It's like a seam goes down. One, two, I'm gonna draw three, kind of just going down the jacket. And it's supposed to go straight down, but because the jacket is open this way, then this is also slanted. Okay, and then, yeah. On that side. On this side, first let's draw the, um, trying to think of a, how to do it. Okay, so let's draw the, where the buttons go first. So I'm just gonna draw it like that for now. And then we have the same thing. So let's have the lines that go across like this, three lines. So there's this padding right here. Okay, this goes up and sort of curls this way. And then you've got this line right here, the seam for the shoulder. Same thing over here, I'm doubling it. Goes like that. Okay, and then you've got this line right here. This sort of is this line actually, and this goes down. And then a second one there. I'm gonna draw a th third one and it just goes to there. There you go. Okay, so if you zoom out, let's kind of finish off like the billowing part of the jacket. I'm gonna draw this line right here and clean it up. Okay, don't make it too straight. Don't use a ruler because it is fabric that's just being blown by the wind here. Okay, that goes like that. And same thing here. Okay, there you go. So let's go back over here because we already started it. And, and this is like the, the buttons. It's got like the clips that clip onto the other side. It sort of runs alongside this line here, but it sort of varies and it gets thinner as you go down. Okay, I'm going to double up here as well. So just doubling the outline over there. Okay, and then finally what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a fabric fold here. And then bring this back out, covering the hand. It's a nice little cheat so that we don't have to draw the hand, to be honest with you guys. So it goes down. There you go. Okay. And then over here, let's draw a second line here. So double up on this outline. And then the same thing like where the button is, buttons are going to go. Runs down along the side like this. Okay. So this button corresponds with that button. So you kind of want to align it so that it looks right. 
Okay, so there should be another one right around here and here. Okay, another one kind of mid torso and there. So, you know, it's, it's just roughly around the same um, distance from each other. And you just keep going. Over here where it starts to thin out, you want to draw them as ovals. And there you go. So just some attention to detail is uh, makes it worth it in the long run. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to draw this one going in, and then just going straight down. So it's just a there's a seam on the jacket itself. And it's just to add a, add some variety to it. Okay, and then earlier we did these lines here. So I just want to reinforce those lines, keep those lines, fold lines. There you go. Okay, so the last thing that needs to be done, let me just wipe off on that excess eraser residue. Last thing is the arms. I'm going to start right here by drawing the fist. So we've already got our knuckle here. So there's one knuckle. Here's the other knuckle. Okay. So that's going to be the middle finger knuckle, actually. Here's the index finger knuckle there, running parallel like this, and then in like that. Okay. Let me draw another curve there. Make this kind of smaller. There you go. There's our. There's our. Uh, thumb, thumb knuckle right here, draw a line going this way, and then what you want to do is you want to start making like this, okay, that goes like that, and then like that, so it's the fingers are folding like this. So let me just add a few more folds, and there you go. That's pretty much it shade this in and there you go okay here's the part of the wrist that it covers part of the hand that's why the hand looks a little bit small so there's like this wrist part right here i'm going to double up on these two lines so it looks like that so now we got to billow it out and make it look like it's actual fabric that's folding Okay, so start from here, bring this out and then into the elbow like this. Okay, in the elbow you got a bunch of little bumps like that. There you go. Gotta make sure it's in the center. Okay, and then bring this down. And then as it reaches this part, it sort of gets baggy again. Okay, we do the same thing on this side. So this one is fairly straight. Goes like this, goes like that. But once you get to the elbow part, you see a lot of this fabric kind of folding and then goes out, down, and as you go into this, it folds out like that. So we're just trying to erase those straight lines and replacing them with lines that look like fabric being folded, this leather jacket fabric. Okay, and then line going across folding and then I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of these lines going across to create um, yeah, a fabric fold. So here this goes like this and then you know a bunch more over here and like that. So it's just a whole bunch of these lines, different sizes, different lengths, put them together and it looks like this. Okay. Over here at the top you want to continue this going down. So that's three lines that we did there. And it sort of just goes this way. Okay. And then one faint little seam line that goes straight. Well, not straight. Every time you cross these lines, it sort of gives it a bit of a curve right here. There you go. Okay, a few more lines from here. 
and there you go. So that's one side. Now all we got to do is something similar on the other side. We don't see the hand. There you go. I'm hiding it. Okay, here's our wrist part. Double up on those lines and then coming from here now, this goes down into the elbow part where it goes zigzag and goes down and then goes in like that. Okay, um, if you guys have some room over here, like you want to make sure that this, the width on this arm is similar to the width on this arm. So if you guys need to have to draw like this part right here, make sure you do. I don't have to, there's no gap here. But if you guys feel like your yours needs a gap, feel free to add that in. Okay, there you go. I forgot to add some from the armpit. This Usually there's like some armpit folds as well. There you go because that's where a lot of fabric tends to kind of fold and make wrinkles. So from the armpit. Okay, now this goes this. Now this right here, it's very instinctive. So kind of where you want the fabric to go. Now the thing with the fabric is it tends to fold this way and then fold this way. Like it, it zigzags, the folds do. It's hard to explain and it's kind of its own separate lesson drawing fabric folds but you know they don't overlap each other I try not to anyway because they usually don't okay like this lines more lines like that okay and then from here goes this way and then here it goes like that okay okay continue this going down bring it to the side and the last thing is a seam that kind of goes down the center. There you go. All right, so I think that is about all. Just got to clean it up now, make it look good, and then ink it. And once you have that, you should be good to go. So zooming out, this was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I didn't think it would take this long to draw Nick Fury, but again, it's those details. Those details add up and take up a lot of time. Anyway, there's our Nick Fury tutorial. Many of you guys have been asking for this one as well. So here it is. Thank you so much, you guys. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys, so I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.